guys so today I'm going to be doing another tag video for you this is the book burger tag that was started by Ryan at Ryan Reads Books he very kindly tagged me so here we go um, if I'm looking down it's because I have everything typed up so that I don't forget um, so basically we're building a burger out of our books so here we go first we need the bottom back choose the first book in a series you loved so Obviously for this one quite a few books sprang to mind but I chose Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas, um, YA fantasy read based on Cinderella, it's fantastic, I can't wait for the sequel. Um, yeah, this was definitely my bottom bat because I, the words won't come to express the awesomeness of this book. Okay, now we need the burger meat. Choose a meaty, thick book that you've read and enjoyed, 400 plus pages. Um, again, this sprang to mind quite quickly. Um, this book is 513 pages long, but when you're reading it, it certainly doesn't feel that way. And that's Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. Any chance I get to mention Lainey Taylor on my channel, I take it because I love her. Um, so yeah, as you can see, definitely a thick book, so perfect burger meat material. There we go. Uh, next we add a thin slice of cheese and lettuce. Choose two thin books, one you've read and enjoyed and one you want to read but haven't yet and these have to be 200 pages or less. So the first one that I chose was Professor Gargoyle. Um, by Charles Gilman. This is book one in the Lovecraft Middle School series. And this is only, I'll wait for it, 168 pages. It's super thin, it's um, middle grade. Um, and I really, really enjoyed this. Um, I haven't read loads of middle grade, but this is definitely one of my favorites that I have read. Um, it's genius. And the one that I want to read but haven't yet is uh, Teacher's Pest, which is book three in the um, Tales of Lovecraft Middle School. Um, I've read one and two, but I haven't got to this one yet, but I can't wait to because I'm really enjoying the series. So they would definitely be my tomato and lettuce. Um, time for a nicely sliced tomato. Choose an average size book you loved or one you hated between 200 and 400 pages. Um, I chose an average size book that I loved and that's Jane by April Lindner. This is a contemporary retelling of Jane Eyre. Um, I absolutely loved it. This is 369 pages, um, so fairly average size. Um, can't recommend this enough. Love it. Okay, um, now you add a source. Um, that you've never tried before and you don't know if you'll love it or hate it. Choose a book that you thought you'd love but hated or a book you thought you'd hate but loved. Um, I unfortunately had to choose a book that I thought I'd love and I hated um, and that's Fracture by Meg Miranda. When this came out, I think it was last year, might have been towards the end of the year before, not entirely sure but everyone was saying oh it's completely different um, you haven't read anything like it it's amazing um, and everyone's like oh it's super short um, and to be honest I read it and I hated every single thing about it I hated everyone in it um, I couldn't stand anyone um, it was a chore to read it and I hate saying that about a book so I really do but for me, I couldn't stand this. So, unfortunately, that's the hate source right there. Um, okay, and finally, we need that bat on top to complete our burger. Choose the last book in a series you are dreading the release of, or were dreading the release of, because you don't want the series to end. Okay, um, this is quite hard because a lot of books now are parts of series. Not There aren't many series that the last book is out that I've actually read or has actually come out yet so I'm either waiting for books to come out or books have finished but I haven't read them if this is making any sense to you um, 
and sometimes I can be super excited for um, the sequels or the last books but um, I do dread reading them because one it's you don't want that series to be over and two it's what if that conclusion is terrible it then taints the rest of that series so there is a lot of dread when series come to an end or sequels come out um so i found this one quite tough but in the end i chose the nevermore series by kelly cray this is book two in shadowed um i haven't read this yet and we are waiting on the third book i think is going to come out sometime next year now um but i haven't read this yet because nevermore was so fantastic and it's a, it's quite a beastly book i could have chosen it for my burger meat you know it's 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 quite big um but again i flew through it couldn't put it down i thought it was fantastic and so when this came out i did have it on pre-order and i'm I was super excited you know to to get it but um i'm scared to read it because it's like what if it's not as good as nevermore and then it's if i finish it i've then got to wait for the next one and book one ended on such a cliffhanger that i'm scared to pick this one up because then i'll have to wait if this one's got a cliffhanger for the third one and i don't think my heart can take it i think i will genuinely keel over so i'm holding myself back but i am both eagerly anticipating and dreading the release of the third book in the nevermore um books so that was the one i had to choose for that and so now i have to show my burger why did i choose heavy hardbacks why did i make this so hard on myself all right here is my book burger um there we go that that is a big burger isn't it it is it's it's quite big you've now made me hungry ryan so thank you so much for that um i just noticed something on the shadowed cover that i've never noticed before so go figure um ryan did tag quite a few people so i and I know quite a few people have done it so I won't tag anyone specifically um, I want to tag everyone watching this that hasn't yet done it so thank you so much for watching thanks to Ryan for tagging me and happy reading